Hey guys and girls, Mike Perlman here for Techno Buffalo for the unboxing of the Pantech Pursuit 2 slider phone. Let's see if this bad boy unleashes a bunch of fury in our exclusive unboxing. Alrighty, let's cut to the chase and just rip this box open here. Um, packing peanuts. They are very useful for uh, putting in somebody's car, filling someone's car with, and uh, having them open the door. You need a lot of them, though, to do that. Let's zoom in right here. We have this colorful little AT&T box, Pantec Pursuit 2. And let's go over some specs here with this phone. It is actually only $50 with a two-year contract. And this phone, it's not at the high end of the spectrum, I have to be honest. Um, it is a 3G slider phone. It has a 2.8 inch touchscreen display, QVGA, and uh, texting and driving. It can wait. Please don't do that, or I'll kick your butts. Okay, we find it in this nice little sleeve here. What do we get? We get a USB cable. We get Pantex rather obtuse charging module here and a quick start guide. So we're not really given an ample amount, but that's okay. All of our action is going to lie within the phone. Let's rip this off. Uh, cute little design. When I say cute, I mean, wow, why'd I use cute? That was really lame, but it is a nice little phone. It is a 2.0 megapixel camera. I really kind of like this design. It's neat. I'm a huge fan of green. Let's check out the QWERTY keyboard here. Okay. It's about the size of, you know, a Blackberry keyboard. The keys are a little different though, as you can see. They are not as chiseled as a Blackberry. They're more along the lines of a Motorola Droid keyboard. We have three buttons here, call and end, physical call and end buttons. That's really great. I'm a fan of that. I like tangible buttons. And we have a back button right in the middle. Volume rocker right along the side. Let's, uh, let's do a little slide test here. Smooth. Okay. Flickable. Yep. We can flick it. Okay. Not bad. Some phones tend to get caught up a little bit. You know, the jerky Motorola Droid um, experience, but this does not do that, and that's neat. Let's wrench off the back panel here, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to spoon feed you more delicious specs. Okay, this phone has a QSC 6270 ARM 9 230 megahertz processor. You thought something awesome was going to come after the QSC 6270 RM9, but no, it's a 230 megahertz processor, so this phone is definitely not a speed racer, it's not a speed demon, and it's definitely not what John Rettinger likes to refer to as a screamer. Okay, let's talk about onboard memory. It has 217 megabytes of onboard memory with the addition of an SD card, micro SD card. And it has the slot, uh, no micro SD card in the box. So there's another bit of a flaw, but that's okay. We're talking up to, two, up to three hours of talk time here and uh, up to 250 hours of standby time. So this battery, let's, let's take a look at what it is. It is a 1,000 milliamp battery, so that's not the best battery life. I would like a, a longer battery life, especially on a little phone like this, which shouldn't use a lot of processing power. Um, so that we'll just have to wait for in the full review. Now for data transfer rates, we're talking up to 3.25 megabytes, and uh, that's a pretty low number as well. And uh, the nice thing about this phone is the touchscreen, though. It runs on GSM, GPRS, Edge, 850, 900, 1800, and 190 megahertz networks. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Let's see if we can power this on 
here, where you find the power button. Is that the power button? This is the power button. Has to be. Is this the power button? That's the power button. And there was much rejoicing. Yay! Okay, so we've got multiple color choices as well. I forgot to mention that. So green, if you're not a fan of green like I am, there are other options out there within the wonderful world of the rainbow. We have Bluetooth 2.1. There's USB 2.0 connectivity. There are drag and drop shortcuts. Uh-oh, I don't have a SIM card. SOS calls. Save our seals calls only. Can we get out of this? I don't want to get out of this. Okay, I'm going to have to drop my SIM card in this. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take a look at the interface until the review. So you're just going to have to wait for the review. As far as an OS, this is running, drumroll please, Brew MP operating system. So a Brew MP operating system, um, personally that's uh, something that I really haven't heard of before. It's uh, kind of obscure, but it should kind of match the level of hardware found in this phone. So that is another uh, kind of setback. It's a $50 phone, two-year AT&T contract. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see how the Pantech Pursuit 2 does in our full review here at Techno Buffalo. Thank you for tuning in. This has been the unboxing of the Pantech Pursuit 2. I'll snap at you later. This is Mike Perlman.